So, so even in our homes, now this time I'm going here, because yeah, go that first Corinthians, I hadn't forgot. Because because we're gonna I wanna, I wanna give you uh 16 personality types. Because we need to know what we're living with. We need to know who's in the house with us. Now, now somebody might say, Pastor, what do I got to do to it? Well, if I know your personality, I, I, I better know how to deal with you. See, I use the illustration like this. Uh, uh, see, you, you have some people, they can present themselves like they're road scholars. Now, in, in the public school, in the public school, everybody say public school. They have a system called norm standard. Now, what norm standard means is, is that's how they block you with all the other children. According to age, according to uh, test scores and categories. So, now you might have somebody trying to act like they're supposed to be in class one. But they're really supposed to be in class five. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> now, I don't have a problem dealing with you if I know that you're supposed to be class five. But if you've been presenting yourself like you class one, watch me, follow me close. Well, I'm going to start interacting with you like you like this. And, and so it shouldn't be, you know, if you really won, you know, I mean, they got, you remember y'all used to go to homeroom? You be in homeroom with everybody. But when the bell rang, everybody went their separate ways. Some folk, you didn't see again the P.E. Your lunch wave and fiscal education. Why? Because they separated you according to where you needed to be with the group you needed to be with so you could learn at the right pace. So five don't need to be up in here with one because we, we learning like this. Not saying you can't learn, but you can, you, you, you can just get it. But now five, they da 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 so now it's okay because everybody has different learning styles. Are y'all following me today? Yeah. And, and this happened when folk married people. Because somebody might be saying, well, well, you, well, you might have thought he was a genius. <laughs> Brother could change a tie, fix the alternator. You think, man, he's smart. <laughs> or vice versa. Because you, you know, me, we try to pick somebody smarter than us. So the stuff we slack on academically speaking, scholastically, y'all will pick that part on up. Because generally, the girl's smarter than men. Okay, y'all happy about that? I said it. <laughs> so now I don't have a problem dealing with you if I know you're a five. Because I know how to deal with fives. But I just need to know you were a five. Don't present yourself as a one. Because, see, I'm going to start acting like you're one. And I'm going to expect you to see my expectations. See, later on in the teaching, we're going to get into expectations, false and real expectations. Like I told you, sisters, a long time ago, y'all single, quit wanting the man to lie to you. See, y'all don't like that. You program for somebody to lie to you. Yeah. 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 You want to hear the lie. So what you expect he gonna do? He gonna lie. <laughs> See, then, then, then you ain't never a good liar. Mm-mm, Cause it don't work. It soon fade out, or you, you lie, get exposed, then you all messed up. <laughs> Cause you just consistently just be lying. You ain't even good at lying. <laughs> so you got this five trying to act like a one. Now, you got a one married a five thinking the five was at least a two or a three. Come on, come on. Y'all going to help me or just leave me out here? Now you're in the marriage, you, you're getting flustered and frustrated because you thought you, I could get more out of you than what I had in you. All because your presentation was so spectacular. It, it's, like a, it's like going by a cake from the store. They dress it up real good. You, you, know, you ever see? 
I, I could imagine. Y- y'all, how many of y'all watch that baking show where they be competing with the cakes? Come on, tell the truth. It's okay. We saved. You can still watch TV. Yeah. All right. Well, I could imagine how that old stuff they wrap around them cakes tastes. It don't look like it tastes good. I've never had one because I'm still, they still make mine with the splatter. But I've seen them roll this stuff out and put it around the cake. Don't look like that ought to taste good. Look like it ought to be tart, full of, you know, just bland kind of sweetness. Just meant to look good. Well, have you ever bought a cake from somewhere that looked real good? Then you got it home and cut that bad boy open, got your ice cream and your spoon, you got that bluebell ready. Now y'all need to pay me for that commercial bluebell. Got that bluebell ready. Oh yeah, y'all don't know it, I'm going now, I'm going. (laughs) Got that bluebell ready. And man, you hit that cake. It's dry. Don't have no flavor. And get what you done spent thirty dollars on this. You were disappointed. Sometimes in relationships, that happens. Cause I'm expecting you to function the way you presented yourself. So if you're singing, you don't need to be talking. About, oh, don't come over here. I look a mess. No, I need to see you looking a mess. Because I need to be able to make the decision whether I want to stay fooling with this mess or not. I need to see the real you. Turn three people say, I just need to see the real you. So now my roles and my models were not properly established. Biblically speaking, I ain't saying we had no bad folk. They just wasn't in the word like this generation is gravitating to the word. They went to church, but they just didn't know the word. Wasn't exposed to the word. Never saw the word be able to be applicable for daily living. Well, you see that word manifest. You, you apply a principle from the word, then you get the result of the principle. Some folk didn't have that. The, the, re, everybody say this, revelation. Revelation, revelation, knowledge, revelation knowledge is progressive. It's progressive. So in other words, they could only walk in. Yeah, that's good. Watch, it's going to lay right here. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. They could only walk in what they had been exposed to. Now, I think a lot of times with, with young folk, what happens is, is some of your peers, they're not exposed to the things you're exposed to. And instead of you guys, because y'all all over the building today, instead of you guys going and being an example, yeah. oh, that's right. Come on, you get the spirit of fear and intimidation because you feel like they won't accept you. And instead of you drawing them to your ways, you end up becoming the way they are. It happened to grown people too. See, whenever a person is not sure of themselves or they lack self-confidence in who they are, they will try to be everybody else. Come on now. This is going to be a real strong one. Ever notice, don't nobody want to be black? Uh, y'all will catch it in a minute. Y'all, y'all, some of y'all older folk understand what I'm talking about. <clears throat> when, when, they, when like other nations that have moved here, and so y'all know I got a little, little bit of experience now because I done traveled abroad. Amen. Even in Africa, they don't really consider us Africans. And they definitely don't want to be Americans. <laughs> Why? Nobody, for some strange reason, don't want to be who we are. So that's a spirit of inferiority. That's a demon. So whenever you try to be anybody other than who you are, you're condescending from who God made you to be. 
And God, he has some rich things and deposits that he's already putting you. And then there's some other stuff he's going to put in you. But if you're so shy and really don't want to be who you are, he can't use you like that. See, it's getting real strong. And nothing getting stronger. Watch this. Because even now, you can see some of the sisters, they're going back to natural hell. See, the only reason why a lot of folk wearing dreadlocks, some of them is fashion, but the folks who broke it back out and started bringing it in to the culture, they were trying to make us more cognizant and be proud of who you are. Like, you know, you ain't got to put them chemicals in your hair. You're already pretty. Your hair already strong. Just get the right stuff. But what are we doing? We're trying to be like somebody else. Have no, we, we, it's almost like we're losing the pride in who we were. You come from some strong people. I mean strong people. Millions died on the way over here. But watch how strong this is. But your seed were the strongest of the strong. That's why you're sitting in the room today. Because if your great, 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 great grandmama or granddaddy had died on the ocean when they were shipping them over here, you couldn't be in these seats. So the mere fact they were able to take that journey, chain next to somebody, without proper food, without proper water, without sunlight, mean that you came from the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. You better than men in black, I'm telling you. You, you, you the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. And you're always condescending, trying to be something else. Now, that one might not have been too politically correct, but Kim will be all right. She'll understand. <laughs> so your genes, they really determine your DNA. Now, watch this one. When you gave your life to Christ, your DNA changed. The very blood of God runs through your veins. You are a real son and daughter of God. See, that's why the devil showed up in the garden and tried to talk them out of their sonship. Wow. That's good. Come on now. And that's where that spirit perpetuated from all the way from the garden of Eden. And we still dealing with it and wrestling with it right now today. Every time you're not proud to be who you are. You allow yourself to get in the environment instead of telling people, yeah, I'm a Christian. Yeah, I believe God. And you go on and hide that thing, put your light up under a bushel. You're condescending from who you really are. But see, you got to go by your examples. I'm trying to get out of here, Jesus. Oh, my time, almost gone already. Y'all get anything out of here? Amen. Come over here to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Amen. That's what I want. Chapter 12, verse 1. Verse 1. That's it. Start right there for me. Ready? Read it. Not concerning spirits to give blood. I will not have you ignorant. You know that you are Gentiles, carried away with the things of idols. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto that's all I want you to get. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were. Come on, somebody say lead. lead. Somebody say lead. lead. Look at somebody else and say, who you follow? Because he said, in other words, in that dispensation, he said they were only leading you as far as they could go. They could only give you as much knowledge as they have retained themselves. Not saying they were bad, not saying it was off. It just wasn't all the time the word. So now, if I know. Even now, see, the thing about the word is supposed to help me more than just on Sunday mornings. Amen. Now, what I'm about to give you within the next five, ten minutes, it should not only help you with your family in the church house, but when you go out in society. Because you got to interact with people on the job, man. There are different personality types 
on the job, not just in your house. Your home is just where you first learn how to deal with all these things. Because everybody in the house, even though we all got the same DNA, we all kin, you know what I'm talking about? We, we don't act alike. We don't have the same mindsets. We don't have the same understanding. We don't have the same precepts. We don't even have the same vision for where we want to go. So now, what I'm going to do is give you this list, then next week I'm going to combine them down where it breaks down into four categories, and then I'm going to give you another little thing to take home with you for you to find out which one are you. Because there's a scripture in the Bible say that, that all men would declare their boast of their own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. So in, in other words, if I ask you, if you ain't crazy, you ought to say something good about yourself. But now it might be something different if I ask somebody else what they think about you. So now watch this. Okay, 16 personality types. You writing this down? Y'all read up on the screen? Here we go. Number one is what they deem as the duty filler. The duty filler. I'll tell you about that person. They're serious, quiet, interested in security, <laughs> and peaceful living. Extremely thorough, responsible, and dependable. Well-developed powers of concentration. Usually interested in supporting and promoting traditions and establishments. Well organized. Hard working. They work steadily towards identifying goals. They can usually accomplish any task once they set their minds to it. Do the feeling. So in other words, this type of individual, you give them responsibility, you can leave. And when you come back, you don't even have anything to worry about. Because they have the type of personality that basically they're going to take pride in it and they are going to see it through. They're going to carry that thing out. The next type is the mechanic. Quiet and reserved. Interested in how and why things work. Yeah, you know I mean, you might have a child, you know, bought them uh, something three days out of Christmas, you come home, <laughs> you're sitting there on the floor, they done took it apart. You're like, boy, what's wrong with you? I just want to see how it work, Dad. I just want to see how it work, Mama. Yeah. Says excellent skills with mechanical things. Risk takers, who they live for, oh yeah, risk takers who they live for the moment, usually interested in and talented at extreme sports. You know, for regular football and baseball ain't enough for them. You know, they got to jump off mountains, uh, get, in a, get in an airplane and jump out with the parachute, all that. Risk takers. <laughs> Interested in extreme sports. Uncomplicated in their design, loyal to their peers and to their internal value systems, but overly concerned with respecting laws, but not overly concerned with respecting laws and rules if they get in the way of getting something done. Detached and analytical, they excel at finding solutions to particular problems. Next type is a nurturer. Quiet, kind, and conscientious. Can be dependent on to follow through. Usually puts the needs of others above their own needs. Stable and practical. They value security and tradition. Well-developed sense of space and function. Rich inner world of observation about people. Extremely perspective of others' feelings. Perceptive of others' feelings. Y'all got to pray my lost my good glasses. Interested in serving others. 
the artistic, quiet, serious, sensitive, and kind. Do not like conflict and not likely to do things which may generate conflict. Loyal and faithful. Extremely well-developed senses and aesthetic appreciation for beauty. Not interested in leading or controlling others. Flexible and open-minded. Likely to be or, likely to be original and creative. Enjoy the present moment, the artistic, the protector, quiet, forceful, original, and sensitive. Tend to stick to things until they are done. Extremely intuitive about people and concerned for their feelings. Well-developed value system, which they strictly adhere to. Well-respected of their peers. I'm sorry, well-respected for their perseverance in doing the right thing. Likely to be individualistic rather than rather lead, rather than leading. All following. The next one is the idealist. I guess I'm none of those because all of them start out with quiet. <laughs> idealist. <laughs> quiet, reflective, and idealistic. Interested in serving humanity. Well developed value system which they strive to live in accordance with. Extremely loyal, adaptable, laid back unless a strongly held value is threatened. Usually talented writers, mentally quick and able to see possibilities interested in understanding and helping others. Next one is the scientific or the scientist. Independent, original, analytical and determined. Have an exceptional ability to turn theories into solid plans of action. Highly value knowledge, competence, and structure. Driven to derive meaning from their vision. Long range thinkers. Long range thinkers have very high standards for their performance and the performance of others. Have very high standards for their performance and the performance of others. Natural leaders, but will follow if they trust the existing leader. The next one, the thinker. You might say, man, I didn't know I was in psychological class today, Pastor. Yeah, you sure are. I'm trying to help you transform your mind right now. The thinker, logical, original, creative thinkers can become very excited about theories and ideas. Exceptionally capable and driven to turn theory into clear understanding. Highly value knowledge, competence, and logic. Quiet and reserved. 
hard to get to know well. Individualistic. Having no interest in leading or following others. The doer. Next one is the doer. Friendly, adaptable, action oriented. Doers who are focused on immediate results. Living in the here and now. They're risk takers who live fast paced lifestyle. Now I know this one statement is being impatient with long explanation. Get to the point. Can you get to the point, please? <laughs> impatient with long explanation. Extremely long to their peers, but not usually respectful of laws and rules if they get in the way of getting things done. Great people skills. The next one is the guardian. The guardian, practical, traditional, and organized. Likely to be athletic, not interested in theory or abstraction unless they see the practical application. Having clear visions of the way things should be, loyal and hard working. Like to be in charge, exceptionally capable in organizing and running activities. Good citizens who value security and peaceful living. The performer, the performer, people oriented, fun loving, and they make things more fun for others by their enjoyment. Living for the moment. They love new experiences. They dislike theories and interpersonal analysis. They dislike theories and interpersonal analysis. Interested in serving others, likely to be center, likely to be the center of attention in a social situation, well-developed common sense and practical ability. Almost there. The caregiver, the caregiver, Warm-hearted, popular, conscientious. Tends to put the needs of others over their own needs. Feel strong and sensitive. Uh, I'm sorry, feel strong sense of responsibility and duty. Value traditions and security. Interested in serving others. Need positive reinforcement to feel good about themselves. Well-developed sense of space and function. Next one, the inspirer. The inspirer, enthusiastic, idealistic, and creative. Able to do almost anything that interests them. Great people skills. Need to live life in accordance with their inner values. Excited by new ideas but bored with details, open-minded and flexible with a broad range of interests and abilities. The giver, the giver, popular and sensitive with outstanding people skills, externally focused, I'm sorry, ex yeah, externally focused, with real concern for how others think and feel. Usually dislike being alone. They see everything from a human angle and dislike impersonal analysis. Very effective at managing people issues and leading group discussions. 
interested in serving others and probably place the needs of others over their own needs. That's the giver. Last two. The visionary. The visionary. Creative. Resourceful and intellectually quick. Good at a broad range of things. Enjoy debating issues and may be into one-upmanship. They get very excited about new ideas and projects, but may neglect the more routine aspects of life. Generally outspoken and assertive. They enjoy people and are stimulating company. Excellent ability to understand concepts and apply logic to find solutions. Last one. The executive. The executive. Assertive and outspoken. They are driven to lead. Excellent ability to understand difficult organizational problems. Excellent ability to understand difficult organizational problems and create solid solutions. Intelligent and well-informed. They usually excel at public speaking. They value knowledge and competence and usually have little patience with inefficiency or disorganization. 16 personality types. Take them home, read over them, study them, pray about them, see which one you kind of fit in. Now, I'm getting ready to close because time has just gone too far, but those are broken down into four categories. We'll get into those next week. Uh, but but as, you, as you see, when we begin to understand and just know who we in the house with, and how we function, and what, what's in there, it's going to help us get along a whole lot better. Amen. Some parents probably say, I ain't got to get along with these children. Well, they got to get along with you. <laughs> well, I hope that's all that's in the water over there. Praise the Lord. And so, as we journey on this family matter, we're going to try to pull in everything that we can to help get the glue back. Get us back in the place where we're supposed to be as the people of God, not only as the people of God, but as a family. Because you know we're in God's family, and we members in particular. And according to Ephesians, the church is just an extension of your household. Amen. Come on, stand on your feet. Give God a hand clap of praise.